Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Manolis and I head up strategy and transformation within BT Group Business Assurance. So what is the mega catalyst? The mega catalyst builds on a vision of a completely trusted business ecosystem where telcos together with supply chain and channel partners can interact together and deliver a trusted industry 4.0 solution. So why do we need it? We are rapidly moving into a world of 5G, IoT and edge computing. A wide set of players will need to collaborate and interact to deliver an end-to-end -end service to customers. There are many areas in this end-to-end -end service delivery that could become disconnected and lead to customer service integrity issues. This could be through accidental breaks in processes, through fraud attempts and potential security threats. The mega catalyst provides assurance on the interaction of these many participants in a digital marketplace. It is constructed into three core layers from three ecosystem catalysts. Starting at its base, it's the data layer. Asset management and integrity of devices is maintained with an immutable trusted data record enabled through a DLT. Data from the DLT enables the assurance of assets. In the middle, it's the settlement layer, a central digital marketplace tracking orders and the virtual ownership of these assets with commercial agreements. An output of relevant transactions for assurance is enabled through DLT and new assurance APIs. At the top of the assurance layer, a set of end-to-end -end assurance and governance controls are enabled through plug and play API links. A framework of controls that have analytics and AI capabilities are there to provide the necessary assurance and trust in the ecosystem. You'll see on the right hand side of the slide some of the dates that each catalyst is providing even more detail about their wider scope of delivery and you can obtain additional information. For the scope of our mega catalyst today, I'll firstly hand over to Andrew to update you on the horizontal user case and then we will take you through each catalyst layer. So over to you, Andrew. Thanks, Andreas. So my name is Andrew Thompson and I head up uh, business innovation at Burning Point Beyond. So industry 4.0 is all about very high levels of automation and industry vertical specific control systems, increasingly using digital twins with artificial intelligence. The picture on this slide is an electric power station, but it could be any enterprise site, a factory, a hospital, an oil and gas refinery. However, till now, most industry 4.0 solutions have been project-based, where a team of engineers, often from different companies, build bespoke solutions on site. Very expensive to build, very expensive to maintain. In the 21st century, this bespoke approach is not scalable and represents an easy attack surface for cyber criminals to breach, steal IP, and undertake ransomware attacks. The digital business marketplace, DBM for short, enables partners to plug and play and securely zero touch, establish and manage smart horizontal infrastructure, such as IoT, 5G, and Computer at the Edge as a service, enabling product managed SmartX Industry 4.0 vertical solutions to be deployed securely on top, again, in a zero touch way. DBM enables the company's vision to participate in Industry 4.0 to onboard, manage, offer, and plug and play their own products and services as a service into the business ecosystem. So DBM phase one resolved many of the key challenges facing Industry 4.0 by delivering repeatable patterns of zero touch orchestration and monetization right from the selection of a solution in the shopping cart through to the activation of devices, it resolves costly and insecure manual onboarding processes. Phase two, leverage the same patterns established in phase one to enable secure deployment of SD-WAN, NFE, AI, et cetera, onto devices from the cloud. Phase two also showed how DBM enables product managers of smart solutions to easily onboard their own industry vertical control systems and AI, and then partner in a plug and play business ecosystem to onboard the various smart horizontal infrastructure devices and services, which enable their industry 4.0 solutions. 
As stated, phase three is all about harness reproduction and includes three industry verticals, smart entertainment, smart grid, and smart manufacturing. Each of these services uh, are underpinned by combinations of partner solutions, therefore establishing that supply chains that are secure and trustworthy is of paramount importance. So this slide illustrates six partners in the digital business marketplace supply chain. Uh, actually, there could be hundreds of partners, and any one of them could be the customer-facing organization. Uh, DBM automates the trading relationships between the companies associated with building and maintaining industry 4.0 solutions to be frictionless and cyber secure and granularly monetizable for each partner. DBM partner is controlled by each organization in that they can choose which partners have access to their offerings. A customer's final configuration and selection in the shopping cart will determine exactly who the supplying partners are in any order solution. The partners then deliver to site and everything can simply be turned on and then securely activated from the cloud or the edge, all zero touch with no manual sharing of passwords. DBM Secure Supply Chain is focused on defining repeatable patterns to manage both the physical and virtual supply chain in DLTs. On the south side, we're showing the physical supply chain being managed by IoT and its partners Ping and Zebra, providing track and trace of devices throughout the physical supply chain from the manufacturer via the importer, the distributor, the retailer, onto the customer. Finally, an IOTA enabled palm secure is used to validate that the end recipient has the rights to install looking equipment. On the north side, we have the vertical supply chain, which uses R3's core distributed ledger platform and assets like R3, R3's public uh, key infrastructure to manage records like STO, ownership voucher, for which we now use X509 certificates and to facilitate the ownership extension process in coordination with BT's ZTO and Infonova. Corda also captures information about the orders, pricing, and billing from the Infonova tenants, as well as the information about physical journey from IOTA. So to provide the partners in a secure supply chain the confidence their partners are behaving honorably and that none of them has been acting fraudulently or has been breached, a business assurance process needs to be conducted spanning revenue, risk, and cyber assurance elements. To manage cyber security, DBM leverages Intuitus Cyber's Managed Detection and Response Solution. MDR is fully self-contained, automated defense grade cybersecurity solution, which is deployed by each partner and each, at each customer site. For the revenue risk assurance process, Corda is the DLT layer for the business assurance systems to interrogate and audit for revenue and risk assurance purposes. To do this, Corda extracts a continuous feed of data from the ecosystem parties and various systems in the ecosystem supply chain, in particular, Infonova and IOTA. So now I'd like to pass to Mark to pick up the DLT story. I'm Mark Nixon from the Erita Foundation Strategy Group. I'd like to start by introducing the problem statement and use case we have looked to address in the Federated Distributed Ledger Mission a significant CapEx challenge as they roll out 5G in a significant CapEx challenge as they roll out 5G in their respective systems across their businesses. They are exploring new innovative service opportunities that we believe will require new business models to support such transformations. The focus of our catalyst is to bring 5G private mobile radio networks, including eSIMs, to devices across target verticals such as multi-site industry 4.0. Leveraging a trusted standards-based federated marketplace ecosystem is the solution the Catalyst is exploring and assessing to overcome the challenges we have identified, along with developing new value streams and business models that will look to improve current business assurance processes thanks to the new layers of trust and truth enabled by the attributes inherent within the IOTA Tangle protocol, such as the immutable capture of transactions, which creates a layer of accountability as all of the transactions and the originator of those transactions are published securely to the ledger only to need to know participants. The marketplace then utilizes smart contracts to execute the trade of value, which can be data, services, or monetized digital products using intelligent wallets in a peer-to-peer -peer microtransaction model. The decentralized architecture shown on the slide supports a high level of resilience and data security for all participants of the ecosystem. While the immutability and transparency of all transactions creates a layer of trust and accountability. 
This solution also removes the need for CSPs engaged in multi-party transactions to have a trusted intermediary for provenance and governance of marketplace trades, including bringing significant simplification of the dispute resolution process. Furthermore, the distributed ledger enabled platform accelerates the process for onboarding new partners, such as asset providers, service providers, vertical industries, including Industry 4.0, regulators and sponsors. The seamless, secure automation of new members of the Federation ensures faster onboarding of assets, faster time to market and revenue, reduced time to settle and payments across the ecosystem, all underpinned with secure business and revenue assurance capability. We have looked to visualize the processes in a layered model, which corresponds to Andreas's earlier overview of the Megacastis business assurance stack. These layers are shown here on the slide. The distributed ledger is primarily located in this example as the lowest layer of the three layers of assurance and trust and plays the role of the data layer, where we build the networks of truth via the capture of an immutable record of all transactions, accountable and responsible data management, all of which drive the trust across the ecosystem. It is considered a black box focusing only on the required capabilities of facilitating the trust by only exposing the requested services and data at predetermined, tightly controlled touch points. Thus ensuring the transparency, on, transparency is on a need to know basis, thereby managing the integrity and access as required, moving all of the internal interactions, components, systems, architectures and operational processes to the settlement layer. The data layer also serves as the first business assurance function in this catalyst up to and by the settlement layer. This approach prevents duplication of functions at each layer. The capabilities or part of them of the other layers are clearly defined by the orchestration layer provided by the TM form open APIs utilized within the marketplace. Therefore, the data layer allows the two upper layers to focus only on the required capabilities by exposing and or consuming the requested services and data at such points control points, which are under each individual layer's responsibility shown in this slide. This creates a fully automated, secure interaction across all of the layers required to deliver against the business assurance needs and metrics. The control points defined in the slide show the responsibility and demarcation between the three layers and could be operationalized as potential governance APIs. To recap, this current catalyst aims at solving three major problems. One, improving interoperability, interworking and security of new services solutions by capturing the key outcomes of the POC and the best practices learned. Two, we can look to share as contributions to open standards makers such as the TM Forum and its members for integrating federated distributed ledger business models into systems currently used by CSPs to run their business. And finally, this will create an ecosystem supporting a wide range of use of service providers and their partners across multiple digital service providers and their partners across multiple vertical industries, specifically in Industry 4.0. I will now hand over to Gabby. Thank you, Mark. My name is Gadi Solotorevsky. I'm from Amdocs. Let's speak about the business assurance layer. As part of the work that we're doing in this Catalyst project, we are really changing the way that business assurance works. Traditionally, business assurance is something that you implement on top of a process, a service, a line of business. Here we're changing it. Business assurance here is by design part of this ecosystem. This is really an important change. Another important change that we are doing in this project is that we are using distributed ledger technology as a trusted data source for business assurance. This is something really new, not used so far in the industry, and it really permits business assurance to use a trusted data source that it's transparent to all the people, all the entities that are participating in this ecosystem. And this has a huge advantage from the point of view of integration. And the third innovation is that we are doing all this via APIs, which is really important because when you have new partners that want to join to this ecosystem, the only thing that you need to do is tell them, please expose these APIs, and then they will receive business assurance as part of the ecosystem immediately. As part of this catalyst, we identified over 10 
business insurance controls that are important for this ecosystem. And in this phase, we are implementing three of them. The first of them is one that it's look at the order on one side and at the provisioning in other side and verify that each customer really is provisioned for what it's order. If you order a service that it's getting exactly that service, but not just the end to end, the customer order and the provisioning, but also between each of the partners in the ecosystem. So this is really a crucial control that says, okay, you really get what you ask for. The next control is about the inventory. The inventory is a very important part of this ecosystem. Why it's important? Because according to it, you can offer things to your subscribers, to your customers. But you have different views of this inventory. The first is the view offering as part of the marketplace. According to that, you do your offers. The second is the internal view that each partner has internally. And of course, any discrepancy here can result in stranded assets or, of, on the other hand, in services that you are offering but that you cannot deliver. And the third view is the physical view, what you actually have in your inventory. And by comparing these three views, verifying that they are equal, you can ensure that you are providing all the services that you can provide on one hand, and on the other hand, that you are not getting stranded assets that are underutilized. So this is also very important. The third control is about velocity. You know, as part of this ecosystem, you have many stages and measure the time that each stage in this provisioning chain takes is important. It's important from two aspects. The first aspect to verify that all the SLAs are met and if there is a problem to pinpoint where the problem is happening. And the other aspect Velocity controls are very good for the tech fraud. So as part of this mega catalyst, we implemented these three controls and we have seven additional ones that are planned for the future. In the AI driven business assurance for 5G catalyst, apart from the mega catalyst that we just described, we implemented two additional use cases. The common to these three use cases are that they are using innovations in business assurance. They are using a lot of machine learning and AI. We are using measurements of the customer experience in real time, capabilities of dynamic slicing of 5G. So the two additional uh, use cases, the first one, regretfully very relevant these days, is regarding healthcare at home for patients. And the second one that I hope that will be very relevant very soon is about big events in big stadiums and it's very easy to do all these three very different use cases using the same technologies because we're using standards and APIs of the TM forum. So this is in a nutshell. Andreas, back to you. Business assurance is a vital component of the TM forum digital ecosystem program. Business assurance will manage the financial integrity and customer impacting risk within these complex partnering, multi-dimensional settlement and ecosystem environments. As we plan, design, build and monetize new business models, we must then assure and govern the new services. So proactively enabling a trusted ecosystem. Our team are contributing to the design of new models, frameworks and real world APIs connecting for the benefit of our industry and the future of business assurance. I'd like to say a big thank you to the Catalyst team and thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Our Catalyst team looks forward to taking your questions.